We've mentioned this a dozen times. This is the only LEGO World War II soldier officially created by LEGO. An Africa Corps soldier, minus the bloody face. That. That was me. And I mean, you could definitely make them cooler by equipping custom weapons and stuff, or equipping customized armor as well, but at the end of the day, this is as much World War II as you're going to get from the LEGO company. So I made it a mission myself to get every single Axis Power Army I could find in LEGO. We're gonna check it out, it's going to be awesome. If you guys enjoy this video, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below. Additionally, later in this video, there will be a giveaway. Let's get into it. I mean, first things first, we just gotta start with a standard Vermac soldier right here. He's got the custom Vermac helmet, he's got the stick grenade in his pouch, he's looking like he's got a big old smirk on his face right there. Obviously, we're gonna need to equip him with a little bit of uh, extra equipment and ammo, because that's something that the Wehrmacht was often lacking, especially in the late war. We're also gonna go ahead and equip him with a good old fashioned MP40, and he's gonna be holding a downed US airman hostage right here. Boom! The German Wehrmacht army is done. But I think we need to stay with the German army for now and uh, move on to some Panzer Grenadiers. These are more elite soldiers from the German army. A little bit rarer to find, but uh, they packed a mean punch because they were well trained and participated in a multitude of battles. Additionally, we're going to go ahead and give him one of these AT rifles because, uh, you know, the Panzer Grenadiers were quite good with AT equipment. They took out many a tank. But sadly, the other thing that they were really good at doing was uh, committing war crimes, which is why we're going to be having uh, this military police soldier just sort of, you know, capturing him right here. Yeah, we're going to confiscate these weapons. No, no more war crimes for you, sir. But again, that's still not it for the German army. We've also got the Fallschirmjägers here. Again, another very elite unit for the German army. The Fallschirmjägers were basically paratroopers, and most famously, they went and uh, recaptured Mussolini, along with, I believe it was Scorzani, one of the most famous Germans to survive the war, and later died in Portugal in the 70s, I believe. But the Fallschirmjägers were the guys that you counted on to basically execute any sort of commando raids or anything like that. Airborne elite soldiers, if you will. And they actually used one of the very first assault rifles to ever exist, the FG-42. This was the most common rifle you would find with any sort of Fallschirmjäger soldier. Often came with a scope and uh, was pretty lethal, especially in their hands. But of course, you can't have the Fallschirmjägers without having the Luftwaffe. The Luftwaffe was, of course, the pilots of the German military. And here we have a beautiful Luftwaffe soldier right here, complete with a parachute pack, just in case, you know, his carrier or his uh, plane gets shot down, whatever he's piloting. And if he does get shot down, he can just go ahead and have his legs ripped off and, uh, you know, swim around in the ocean until he's uh, rescued, you know? And maybe he'll drift onto the other side of the Mediterranean where he might come across the Africa Corps soldiers. Now, the Africa Corps soldiers, of course, uh, you know, are the only Lego soldier ever made, like I said at the beginning of this video. But, of course, there are custom Africa Corps soldiers that exist, and that look way better than the actual Lego ones. This one right here is by United Bricks, and he comes with a beautiful desert Stonhelm, as well as amazing custom printing. Yeah, look at this boy. It doesn't get much better printed than this for a Lego minifigure. And you get a nice little car 98K along with that to equip to your German soldier. Yeah, he is sprechen the Deutschen. So let's go ahead and set up our Africa Corps troopers along this little desert road. Oh, God, his gun. There you go, buddy. And we can go ahead and scatter a couple of tank traps across this road as well. Tank traps pretty heavily utilized in the North African front, mainly because tank warfare was so extreme there. There was just so many different tanks deployed by the British, by the Americans, by the Germans in the North African front because you had to travel across massive expanses of land and you didn't really want to walk. And of course, basically the arch nemesis of the Desert Fox, Erwin Rommel, was Montgomery, the British general. So we're going to be equipping a few British commandos in here to face off against our Africa Corps troopers. One soldier's got a stick of dynamite and a Bren gun. There you go, chap. And the other boys got a Sten gun. 
one of the least reliable weapons of all of World War II. So he's of course got his knife in case things uh, get a wee bit messy. And boom, there we have the Africa Corps. And that rounds off our German army. And now we're going to be moving on to an army that also participated in the North African campaign very heavily, especially in Ethiopia. Can you guess who it is? Who's that Pokemon? It's the Italian army. That would be the Italians. Buongiorno. The Italian army, obviously, during World War II, one of the biggest disasters of World War II for the Axis powers. They were flip-flopping left and right. They were succumbing to Allied pressure. They were then coming back into focus of the war with the rescue of Mussolini, only for them to be overthrown again. It was an absolute mess for the Italian army. So of course we're going to put them behind the Africa Corps troopers here. Uh, the Africa Corps of course the ones who really were participating in North Africa well. The Italians not so much. But the Italians also, I gotta stop saying Italians like I'm Brad Pitt and Inglorious B words. No, the <laughs> The Italians also had themselves standard soldiers who were not fighting in the African campaign and who would fight throughout Italy as well as parts of Europe. Here's an example of one of those Italian soldiers. I gotta stop saying it like that. We could go ahead and equip him with his rifle. And uh, you know, since since they they were not the most effective, we're gonna go ahead and sit him inside of this little house here and he could he could take a snooze, you know? That's that's the mock we're setting up for the Italians. <laughs> They can come out when they feel ready, but for now, I think he just wants to take a little nap and let the Germans handle things. Well, the Germans and the Hungarian soldiers. Now, to be completely honest with you, I don't know a ton about the Hungarians during World War II. I know they weren't the most effective army, but that's just mainly because they weren't the largest nation state. Um, but hey, I mean, they were a part of the Axis powers. They did fight in battles. They weren't exactly massively effective. A lot of the times, the Hungarian as well as Romanian soldiers who were sent over to the Eastern Front against the Soviets were sent up in lines that were quickly, quickly destroyed by the Red Army. Any place on the Eastern Front that wasn't German held by Panzer Grenadiers, SS, Wehrmacht, whatever, that weren't held by the Hungarians or the Romanians, right here, here's a Romanian army soldier, the, these lines were just quickly diminished, quickly destroyed by the Red Army. It was a massive, massive problem and actually ended up ultimately resulting in the encirclement of Stalingrad German forces because the Romanians and Hungarians together were fighting on the outskirts of Stalingrad and holding those lines and the Soviets realized, oh my god, these guys suck at war. Let's send everyone over there and encircle the German army. So for that, we have this marshy little area here to represent some parts of Eastern Russia. Yes, it is a Lego Minecraft farm. <laughs> Shut up, I didn't want to make a whole mock for this. They're just the Hungarians and Romans. They don't matter that much. Here, you know what? We'll give them one Vermax soldier as support. There you go, there you go. And they can just kind of be holding this line, having a, having a dandy old time here. You know what? They're gonna need some medic uh, equipment too. You're gonna need some medic medicinal help because you're probably gonna get killed pretty quickly. But you know who's probably not getting killed pretty quickly? The Finns. Yeah, Finland right here. Technically a member of the Axis powers. Uh, I mean, we, we tend to look at the Finnish uh, in World War II as uh, a member of the good guys, considering the fact that they resisted Russian provocation to try and take over Finland during the Winter War, and uh, they withheld those Russians extraordinarily well. And you know, the, you just don't mess with Finland, man. You just don't mess with Finland. So it's very bizarre to call them the Axis powers, but technically, they were. We have a, a stolen Russian PPSH right here that we can actually equip uh, with an ammo, ammo drum. There you go. Here you go, Finnish comrade. Tick. And then we've also got ourselves a little Malitov cocktail that our Finnish friend right here can go ahead and yuck at Soviet scumbags. And here you go, buddy. You can go ahead and chill in, uh, in a little bit of uh, Winter War trenches right here. And heck, let's let's go ahead and give him a sniper rifle. Maybe we've got the next uh, 
the next white death right here in this in this finished soldier oh god i'm destroying your bunker i'm so sorry buddy so you know we've got the finish you know one of the coldest fronts of the entire war but then you know you got the opposite side of things this is supposed to represent japan and its islands the pacific front and you can't have the pacific front without the japanese army right here so the first Japanese soldier that we have for the Japanese army is just going to be a standard Japanese imperial soldier. These soldiers were incredibly deadly, did not give up easily, and of course there's famous, famous stories of some of these soldiers surviving in the jungles of the islands for decades after the war is lost for them and still terrorizing local populaces. So there you go. You can go ahead and chill on your little island beach defense there, but oh no! We've of course got a uh, Pacific World War II US soldier that's going to be doing a little bit of a beach landing right there from the water. His Higgins boat has dropped him off. And you know what, we can have a, a local army chaplain here with him who's, who's gonna be playing some some violin so uh, to, to calm his nerves in the background there you go and to calm the nerves of the Japanese army soldier we should probably go ahead and give him some reinforcements that being the Japanese SNLF soldiers the SNLF were basically elite Marines of the Japanese army you thought that the standard Japanese soldiers were deadly and didn't give up easily well these guys right here are a whole other can of worms these fellas were extremely well trained, extremely elite, and were some of the leaders of the early kamikaze charges. I meant to say bonsai charges, kamikaze was by plane, <laughs> bonsai charges. So these guys were extraordinarily tough and one of the backbones of the Japanese army. So he's gonna go ahead and chill right by his standard Japanese army soldier right there. And that's everything. That is every Axis power army that I could find online. Let's put them all together. So we're going to start off here with the Africa Corps soldiers of the German army, followed by the Wehrmacht soldier of the German army, followed by the Panzergrenadier of the German army, the Fallschirmjäger of the German army, the Luftwaffe of, well, the German air force. Then, of course, we have got ourselves the Italians right here, both Africa Corps, well, not Africa Corps, but African front as well as home front. Then we have got ourselves the two Japanese soldiers right here, the SNLF and the standard Japanese soldier for the Japanese army. Then we have the Hungarian army soldiers as well as the Romanian army soldiers right there. And that is all of the Axis powers that I could find. Let me know in the comment section below if we should do the allied powers in the future because that could also be kind of fun but let's get into the giveaway now oh god i forgot to involve the finnish guy okay you could go right here next to the hungarians and stuff there you go okay i'm so sorry I'm gonna be giving away two of these lego snow trooper battle packs right here i just got a bunch of these in the mail for a video and i figure i have enough of them that i can give two away to the community all you got to do is hit the like button subscribe with notifications on and comment down below which army from world war ii do you think is the most interesting it can be axis powers it can be allied powers it doesn't matter you decide Remember to check the description box of my next video to see if you ended up winning one of these puppies. Be sure to check there. I do not comment. I do not because there is a bunch of scammers stealing my name and going down there. If you see anyone like Telegram Daily Bricks, Daily Bricks email me, anything like that, do not trust them. That is not me. And that's one of the reasons why I put them in the description box of the next video. So that way you guys only get it from me, the source. Don't trust those scammers, guys. Also, huge shout out to all of the channel members that have signed up. All you got to do is click join and you get yourself a spot on a piece of Lego history. And it supports the channel a ton. Thank you to Tyler Thompson, Rafa Nerd, Nick Hansoy, Rouse, Bread, Fives, Derek Moore, Deadpool Fan, I Hall, Dylan Newman, Commander Gubrick, Adam Moritz, and all the rest of y'all who have supported. Really appreciate y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.